Chinese lovers are celebrating Qi Shi Festival, China's equivalent of Valentine's Day across the country. The Qi Shi Festival falls on the seventh night of the seventh lunar month every year. It's based on the classic Chinese mythology of a weaver girl and a cowherd boy named Jin Yu and Niu Lang, respectively. As their love was forbidden by the gods, Niu Lang and Jin Yu were separated by the Silver River and could only meet once a year when a flock of magpies would form a bridge for them to cross. To mark the union of the two, those in love attend various events. These include group weddings, wedding anniversary celebrations and joint kissing competitions. The ancient customs of Qi Shi Festival and the story of Chinese Valentine's Day are in danger of being forgotten. More and more young people celebrate Qi Shi in the same way that February 14th is celebrated in Western countries. Just as Westerners do, Chinese lovers have also started to celebrate the festival by sending gifts to each other, including flowers, jewellery and cosmetics, as well as engaging in romantic dinners throughout. Hotels, restaurants and florists capitalise on this by offering special sales on Chinese Valentine's Day. While flowers have always been popular among customers who are unmarried, sales of small home appliances such as automatic dishwashers and home beauty devices have increased among those who are already married in the days leading up to the festival. With the increasing imbalance of male to female ratio in China, more and more men are having difficulty finding a girlfriend, while men and women feel the social pressure to marry before their late 20s. This has led to the popularization of such terms as Dan Shen Go, which translates to single dog and works as a slightly insulting term for a single person. Shen Yu, on the other hand, refers to the leftover women, meaning career-minded people who are still unmarried in their late 20s or early 30s. The term guanguin translates to bare branches and is a similar term for men who aren't married and therefore don't add any branches to the family tree. As a result, a local love training class has come into being. Aiming to help men find love, the class teaches men how to speak to girls and how to behave themselves. Parents in Shanghai are also taking part in a marriage market where they meet every weekend to exchange information on their unmarried children and try to find suitable matches. Others might also try the love bus in Jinjiao, where a bus driver has decided to help his single passengers find that special someone by posting their personal information and contact details on his vehicle. This has already led to 23 couples getting married.